in this video, I'm going to show you how I go perfect in family business in both nodes with the same deck. So what have I got? I'm using Tamiyo. Um, very polarizing planeswalker that I feel like shouldn't be, but show you what I use here. Got my little clever name. So this is basically a loop deck and the loop consists of Healer of the Pride, Rumor Gatherer, and Hallowed Haunting, and a bunch of supports. So the way this one works is you got Rumor Gatherer Alliance. So if you're not familiar with Alliance, when another creature enters the battlefield under your control, or this creature is reinforced, perform the following effect. The following effect is drawing a card, and then if you control three or more cards, that card gains six mana. And also, when a creature enters the battlefield, and that means any creature, not just yours, um, if you have full life, enlist three gems and otherwise gain nine life. And the crazy thing about Healer of the Pride is if you enlist three gems and it creates a swap on your opponent's turn, then you get that mana generated from that um that non-match swap so that is just op <laughs> and then uh hallowed haunting when a support card enters play under your control increase this card's level by one while on the board this card's level is six or more your creatures gain flying or vigilance however the more important part is when you cast a card if that card is a support card create four white spirit tokens so you're going to be triggering her alliance four times every time you cast a support and also enlisting three gems um, provided that you have full life when you do it. So we got a bunch of really, um, really good uh, supports in here. We got ambiguity, which if you've watched some of my blue PMA showcase videos, you know how devastating that can be. Um, the Kami War, which is the best removal support in the game, at least in standard right now, but maybe in the game. Um, Fist of Sons for extra um, mana gain whenever we match one of those enlisted gems or time bubbles, or I mean, deny gems. Threats undetected. So this is a great piece to get your combo started because you can pick um, two of the three creatures that you need to get this combo started, which makes it easier to grab Hallowed Haunted and any of your support. So what you can do with this is you can not only search for the creature you want, but in subsequent castings, you could filter out your deck by putting your creatures at the bottom of your library where you won't need them as much once you get your combo going. And then Faithbound Judge, it's a good start to block things while you get your combo set up if you need. But it's mostly there to combo with gather of the pack or gather the pack so that you gain so much loyalty per turn um, because of his signet his uh, sinner's judgment token and if you're not familiar with that it's an aura curse beginning of your turn increase this card's level by one then gain eight uh, x loyalty x is eight times this card level which is nuts so you're getting 8, 16, 24, 36, um, the longer this support is on the board. And then, last but not least, this is Serpentine Ambush, because if you don't use anything, these matches can take a while. So what this does is I cast this on my little weenie creatures, especially my spirits, and they 5x in power and toughness until the end of turn. So it makes things go by a little quicker. Um, I think with Ambiguity and the Kami War, and then sometimes Faithbound Judge if you need, that's enough defense, and this deck has yet to fail me. So, um, if you want to play a little safer, you could use, um, another removal, something like Broker's Charm, um, anything you want really in that, in that final card slot there. So, the real thing is getting Rumor, Gatherer, Healer of the Pride, and Hallowed Haunting going, and then... And then enough supports to keep our loop going. So I'll show you how this deck works in gameplay. OK, 
Okay, so what do we got? Gather the pack, rumor gatherer. Um, I'll do gather the pack first. Don't love that, but at least I didn't get a lot of mana on that match. Um, let's see what we got here. So a couple of different plays you can go with. Um, if you want to try and get ambiguity out and get that train rolling, but I kind of want to just do gather the pack and see if I end up with a faithbound judge in my um, graveyard here. And then if that is in the graveyard, then I can get a sinner's judgment token going. What do I got? Um, no faithbound judge. So I'll just put the faithbound judge on the board right now at first. Faithbound judge, commie war and ambiguity. Maybe I'll get ambiguity down first. Um, this should be a decent little cascade for me here. A little bit of a slower start than I normally have to deal with here, but you get some good defense going then. It's not going to be too bad. Hmm. Don't love that they have... Those enlisted guys. Oh, um, let's see. So this is why it's nice to have, um, judge down. So, I'll do Howl of Haunting first, and then Rumor Gatherer. I don't need Serpentine Ambush quite yet. Oh, nice. We got a Sinner's Judgment token down. So, now that that's going, that'll be a lot easier to um, get our train rolling. I don't really need Judge at this point, now that we have a Sinner's Judgment token down. Got threats undetected. Okay, this is good. Don't need a rumor gatherer. Don't need an extra rumor gatherer, I mean. So, okay, we'll go there first. Get our five swap out of the way. Then we'll time bubble. Or maybe that was my ambiguity. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Got a hallowed haunting. Oops, I should have. Ah, that's one thing that you gotta worry about with um, healer of the or threats undetected. You gotta make sure you don't accidentally throw away the creature you need. So we'll get some commie war happening. Get some threats out of the way. Um, gosh, no swap. I can go for here. Hmm. Don't love it. Don't love it. Hmm. Thing. Not on my side here. Dang it. I really wanted that healer of the pride. Taking a little more damage than I expected to, but don't need to gather the pack. Okay, another ambiguity. Really want to put down these commie wars.
imprisoned my spirits, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Just keep spamming her first. Get our train a rolling. Um, it's a time bubble. Okay. See if we can grab another threats undetected. Okay, there we go. So this time we'll play it properly. Got a commie spirit. Okay, don't need ambush. So what I'll do is I'll grab a healer of the pride as well as a um, faith bound judge. Gosh, not good matches, man. Don't really need my rumor gatherer. I don't know. Not much I could go for there. It kind of sucks. But my ambiguity train is rolling a little. Kind of. Okay, but. Let's get this really going here. Be surprised at how bad you can start before this deck really gets moving. And you can, uh, like it's durability here. So unfortunately I'm going to have to switch out this spirit because it got imprisoned. So all the spirits I'm building up here won't really matter. We can start to make some of our life come back to us. All right, here we go. Don't need judge anymore. Don't need threats undetected. Save up an ambush. Okay, what can I match here? He really gummed up the um the board with all of his support, so that's annoying. But I think we can start to clear him out now. Place our spirit, or place our dragon with spirit token. Heal of the pride doing her thing. So depending on what gets going here, they may or may not be able to cast a card again. So and they probably will actually. They'll end up with a a yellow match soon. Keep the loop going just one time. Not now. Not now.
And so because of Serpentine Ambush, I should be able to win right here. But let's see what else we grab. Don't need Gather the Pack. Don't need Rumor Gatherer. <clears throat> Getting a ton of mana from our Fist of Suns. So Serpentine Ambush does that for us. And also does that. So now every time I get a spirit down, it's a 5-5 spirit instead of a 1-1. One, one. And then just wait till our loop timer hits. And then let's check out our... Yeah, we hit our objectives. <laughs> I know it took us a while to get there, longer than it has in any other match I've played for this event, but there we go. And that's how this deck is finally used. <laughs> but let's see if I can get a, a better start um, on our next battle here. Okay, the bottom node battle. What are our objectives? Summon 15 or more creatures during a single fight. Should not be difficult. And 15 or more damage to the Planeswalker during a turn. Should not be difficult either. So, threats undetected, Fist of Suns, and Ambiguity. So we'll grab our two pieces. Rumor Gathering Heal of the Pride and put our Judge at the bottom of our deck. Don't think we'll need it quite yet. <laughs> hmm, interesting play. Okay, so Rumor Gatherer, Fist of Suns. Cool, we got an Ambiguity down. Get that out of the way. Although it's probably a little more Deadly in the graveyard, actually. <clears throat> so yeah, we already got our creature train rolling a little bit. <clears throat> Go for that deny gem match there. Get some Fist of Suns going. All right. <clears throat> so our loop train it's gonna get going really early here so if we grab a serpentine ambush next turn we probably win Don't need judge. So we triggered our hallowed haunting level. Um, not needed yet. Get another ambush. Now let's keep the loop going one more turn. No judge needed. No. Okay. Our loop just stalled out naturally, so that's fine. Call me one. I don't even know what they, what they even cast. Oh, Doctor Spy Network. Eh. So we don't need judges in our deck, so we'll filter those out. 
Don't need rumor gatherer either. Let's just see if we get more um, supports here. That's the only one. We'll see. Probably won't be necessary to do more here. I think I might just win. <clears throat> Ambush. So yeah, we'll win here. Easy. So if we grab another healer and rumor gatherer for fun. So with our lowly little healer of the pride, we'll hit our objective at the bottom here. So not that we were worried about it, but yeah, let's stop the loop. Why not? There we go. So that's how battles normally go. They're usually that quick. So, if you don't mind sitting through all those animations, I don't know, I've gotten used to it. It's kind of fun for me to see how much spirits can get rolling and all the stuff happening with the Deny Gems and the Fist of Suns and the Enlisted Gems. So, may or may not be your speed of play. You may end up going with the uh, Joe to Rocco combo. But, you know, this is a very unique deck in that it's a very reliable looper in standard and it gives you something to do with Tomio. So, yeah. Um, very fun, very cool, and very reliable. And so there I am, rank one, and at the top. Save that for posterity. And uh, yeah, so hopefully that helps you win this event or gives you some ideas on how to play it next time. All right.